It's Doug Linner with Patch of the Week. Most modular synth players live in a one volt per octave world when it comes to uh, controlling the pitch of their oscillators. However, if you have vintage equipment such as my Mystery Serge, you may not have a one volt per octave input, and but you can still use the scalable inputs to make it all happen correctly. And you know, even in the case of modern modules of modern oscillator modules, in addition to the one volt per octave input, they'll often have the scalable control voltage input as well. So in any case, it's a good thing to know. So here we go. I've got a Boss chromatic tuner down here. I've got a sequence of notes set up on this first row of this uh, sequencer. The first note is a C. So the first thing that I need to do is to get that C happening here. The C is arbitrary, of course, but I set up the sequence in it, uh, beforehand just to make things go a little quicker. So, the first thing to do is to bring this up to the C. I'm going to bring it up and then fine-tune it. Okay, there's the C. The second thing here is a C that's two octaves up. So I want to bring this down and get it up to the uh, C. Now you notice when I'm controlling, when I'm setting the low C, that I'm doing it with the frequency of the oscillator. When I'm setting the, the C that's two octaves up, I'm doing it with the scalable CV input. Now sometimes you have to rock back and forth to get the scale right. So here I'm bringing up the C a hair again, and now I'm going to go here, and i got to bring the C down on the top. Okay, there we go. That's good. So now, if you listen to this, we have a typical tonal sequence, and uh, this oscillator was made to track the pitches that were set here. So now, if we want to have a second oscillator track that, we'll bring in the oscillator first. And then we'll bring the pitch up to reflect that C. We're going to have the output of the second oscillator go to the tuner now. All right, that's the C. Now we want to get the C that's two octaves up together. Go back down, and there we have the range set, and now if we turn this on, we have two oscillators playing the correct pitches, and they're also tracking each other. So there it is, that's the way to use scalable CV inputs to uh, control the pitch of your oscillators, and how to get one oscillator to track along with the other. That's Patch of the Week.